How cool are those? Welcome to the Frugal Family. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Julie, also known as the Frugal Mama. Every Sunday, and sometimes even more often, we are dumpster diving. We are trying to find everything we can that can be salvaged, that we can use, upcycle, recycle, sell, or donate uh, to save from the landfills and to try to make our small, humble little difference. If you are interested in coming along for our many dumpster diving and frugal living related adventures, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss what we've got coming up next. This is another bin at a high school, but there's also a donation box. And I have uh, clothing in here that needs to be donated. Clothing and or fabric. And they recycle uh, the fabric. So if it's clothing that can't be used as clothing or, or it's fabric that is all messed up for one reason or another, they can sell it by like the truckload something like that and they get paid for it and then that money goes toward their cause which in this case is feeding your community so super awesome see donate recycle to feed isn't that great <sighs> let's see now where this bin is located uh i expect to see school garbage but also a lot of dumping like illegal dumping let's just get an idea of what is in here this feels like yard waste um i'm guessing this is all yard waste because they're all the same bags and once you've been doing this for long enough you can feel just by feeling the outside of a bag you really do get a good idea of what's in there so i'm quite certain i'm not going to bother with it but we will definitely be back next week to this bin because yeah like i said there will be illegal dumping just because of where this bin is located it's just really easy quick access and people are coming and dropping off stuff right here anyway so they drop off other stuff so we'll definitely be back all right some broken pencils we'll just pick those up so again we'll expect to see food there's some uh, some kind of Tyson like chicken or turkey things we'll expect to see lunch stuff but also things from kids' desks and lockers getting cleaned out some buckets down there we'll see what those are about and nothing in this one apologies for the wind Not much I can do about that. I like these bins, this particular school's bins, because they're kind of tucked away a little bit. I mean, it's still visible, but not like the last one. Not nearly so exposed. Let's see if we can put you guys right here. And get this tripod to work. Like I mentioned in the last video, I have got to get yet another tripod. If you know of a really good one, the poseable tripods, the bendies, one that really lasts, please tell me in the comments because I am on my 10th one. A bunch of random socks in here. That's weird. It's like that one's a pair. You never know what you're going to find, you guys. You never know. Oh, it's like lunch stuff. workout well we can see what what it was it's a bunch of food uh, beef base sour cream lemon juice I wonder if I could take that lemon juice I think I will if it were like orange juice I totally wouldn't 
but it's lemon juice. And I feel okay with that because I use it for cleaning. Like I throw it in with laundry. And dishes and stuff like that. So I'm going to take that lemon juice. are some books down there, but I cannot reach those. A notebook with plenty of paper left. I'm going to take this box because my totes are full already from the other bins that I've been doing. This box, oh, this one has some stuff. Dang it. Oh, we do have to get in, shoot. I think I'll be able to get back out, especially if I pile some stuff up. Because I gotta be careful because there's food down here. Try not to get tangled. But yeah, this is a Glade air freshener. We'll take that. There's a dictionary, a thesaurus, some FFA stuff. That's a dictionary. Well, you know, it's in pretty rough shape, but we can use it for crafting. That's all papers. FFA stuff. There's another dictionary. And we can just donate those in one of the local book drop-offs that are everywhere here lately. It's like food garbage. Some National Geographic. Some old school books. Shoot, is that it? A nice dictionary there. Used school books. Well, bummer. Thought there was more than that, but now the rest of it is food and food garbage. So let's get out. Okay. I find myself saying okay a lot. Oh, that is one of my words. Is that like self-reassurance <laughs> or what? I don't know. Oh. Okay, see, there I go again. What is that? Is that like for a, a table of some kind? Are those like table supports? Hmm, well, we shall see. Are you guys here? Are you enjoying coming along for the whole process, the whole dive? Who all's enjoying that? Please tell me in the comments. If you are enjoying it, tell me, but also, consider giving us a thumbs up to let me know you want us to keep making this kind of effort at recording all of it. All right, what do you think those support looking things are? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get a new tripod to keep bringing you guys along because this, otherwise you're just gonna keep falling. See, falling. There's a lot in this one. What is that? Oh, it's broken. It, it was. It was some kind of chair thing. Maybe chair and table. But it's busted. That's a bummer. Oh, well. But there is... There's 
these supports, and I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I might be able to uh, reuse them somehow. Of course, if you have ideas, please tell us. And then oh, there's these things that I'm guessing uh, rest on the other two some, for some reason. Is this like a cow riding type thing? Like a pretend you're on a cow? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, the rest of that's broken. There's a board over here though. And it has the teacher's name painted on the other side, but I can reuse that. Definitely. So nice having a rake again. Makes all the difference in the world. It's gross. And that's just like papers. Again, papers. Yeah. One more. Yeah, old donuts, papers, plates. Not bad though, not bad. Whew. And as we go through summer, they're, I mean, they go through stages, you know, of what they're throwing out. So like I said, like right now, it's kids are cleaning out their lockers and desks. And there's the last of the lunch garbage because school only just let out this this week so there will be plenty of that kind of stuff but then also teachers that are moving or retiring they're going to be getting that kind of work done really soon you know getting all that stuff cleared out and then as we go along later in the summer there will be of course lots of residential dumping as people are cleaning out you know, their houses, their garages, and doing yard sales, and then whatever doesn't sell, they, you know, dump it at the local public school bin. So there'll be a ton of that stuff. There'll be um, apartment evictions, home foreclosures, things like that, and every, or people will die, and their families come and just dump everything in the bins. Lots of that. And then, as far as the school, they'll be getting into, like, the deep cleaning. Uh, you know, a teacher will take what they'll take if they're moving or retiring, but for sure, there'll you know there's stuff they leave behind that you know belong to the school or they just don't want to take. They don't want to bother with, and so then the janitors will come in and they'll get all the, you know all the rest of it and throw it out, so that the new teacher starts you know with a you know empty clean classroom. And so throughout the year there will be that kind of stuff. And then if they're remodeling, renovating, uh, switching out to different programs or whatever, then. Yeah, it, it's really the possibilities are absolutely endless of what you will find in the bins. Let's go on to the next one. Well, this is a pain. One, it's really windy, so sorry about that. And two, the gates are locked, so we've got a walkover. This school isn't usually locked, so that's frustrating. Well, I mean, not the school. The uh, gates are not usually locked. And this is one where we have gotten so much stuff. We'll take a look and see if I need to bring the tools over. And so lugging everything back over is going to be a pain. But yeah, we have to. Look at this. We absolutely have to. Who knows what all is in that bag. I see a Lego box right there. I'm not going to get my hopes up. But yeah, there's like a step stool and a laundry basket. Yeah, absolutely. We have to bring the tools. Oh boy, it is windy. 
windy, windy, windy. But that does keep it from getting too warm as I'm working. Because it's not like a hot morning, not at all. But it warms up pretty quick <laughs> as you're working. Definitely. Let's get all this stuff and get back over there. You want a good workout, you go dumpster diving. Especially when they close the gates. <laughs> Whew. It is a great workout. Okay, let's start here because I see several goodies right away. So let's put our energy toward these for starters. Oh, bummer, look at that. Darn it. This just needs one part repaired. It's a nice step ladder or step stool rather. Too bad about that laundry basket. I wanted to use it to put stuff in. Now, there's nothing in those Lego boxes, but that's not a surprise. Ooh, 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 ooh look at this. <sighs> I don't even know, let's see. It's like a Rube Goldberg. Uh, like for, um, ah, marbles, no words, and a little tool table, and a nice little frame that I'll try not to break the glass this time, some drawing paper, some princess floor foams, uh, they're, you know, they, they're obviously used, but we'll enjoy them for sure. There's part of a Barbie, <laughs> assorted other... Stuff. I'm gonna just get this whole box out and we'll sort out what we want to take. Okay. This is another bag we'll just sort. There's a good box here. We'll want that. This is a good one. This is a goodie bag for sure. We'll look through. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to lug back to the car. <laughs> but we're getting a workout, so it's good. It's all, it's all good. And lots of great stuff that for sure we'll be able to use ourselves or share or donate. It's just going to require quite a bit of work. Oh, I'm so glad I have the rake. <sighs> if you don't have a rake, dumpster divers, you need one. Oh, feels like it's in there. This It's a pre-lit tree, fiber optic tree. Uh, and just because it's in the bins doesn't automatically mean that it's in there because it's dead. Again, it could just be that, you know, they've retired, whatever, they're moving, so they get rid of it. Because they don't want to, you know, take it along with them. Uh, let's see. Well, let's just jump into these right away. box over here and start by just putting in the stuff that we know we want. Yes, even headless Barbies. You know I love Halloween and I do a huge yard display full of all kinds of creepiness. There's a puzzle. We'll try it out. See if it has all the pieces. We love puzzles. There's a couple of teacher gifts. We'll find tons of teacher gifts throughout the summer. That's why we don't do those kind of things anymore, the teacher gifts. We just do gift cards or 
where we <laughs> re-gift some of the stuff we've found in the bins, which is always fun. I like these old school wooden blocks. These are great. I played with stuff like this when I was a kid. is the box. And these are for doing thread and stuff. We'll take the box that has more of the pieces. Catapult is what it's called. Now I will dump this box out so that I can use it. And I'm going to go ahead and take this box, this, and the stepladder over to the van, and then we'll come back and sort these bags. Let's see. We are going to just jump right in here. Well, we're gonna try anyway, jeez. pants. They got some marker on them. Coloring book. A little broken uh, doll rocking chair, but that could be used as a step stool in the Barbie house. It's not, a, it's not a bobble head. The head doesn't bobble. Eat more chicken. Chick-fil-A. There's a little table topics. That's kind of cool. And the kids and I have committed to um, eating dinner together at the table at least three times a week throughout the summer. And I was actually thinking it'd be nice to have like some table topic stuff, you know? So that's cool. A little notebook. I wonder what that goes to. Well, we'll hold on to it in case it goes to something else in here. Um, I think we'll take this because we can paint over these canvases. I can't tell if this one is illegal dumping or or school dumping. I'm guessing I'm guessing illegal residential kind of dumping, but I could be wrong. I wonder if the other shoe is in here. That would be cool if it was. Oh, I wonder if this is that doll's head. <laughs> There's a bunch of little odds and ends. Oh, that is adorable. We love Hello Kitty. I wonder if these go to that other thing we grabbed. Maybe. Now, normally, this is the kind of bag that I would just do at home. I would sort it at home, but I am making an effort to not bring home, oh, look how cool that is, um, to not bring home tons and tons of garbage that fills up our garbage can. And so we are going to have to go ahead and go through all of it here, which is not ideal. Oh, look, there's still some stickers left. We'll take this and just get the stickers out. flag. Oh, that's cool. Let's get the gum off. Clean that up. There's the other part of that little chair. We might be able to fix it. And there's a frame. It needs to be painted. Okay, so see the rest of this is garbage. Like, so I'm glad that we went ahead and went through it because I don't want to take, except we missed that. I don't want to take all this home and then have to fill up, ooh, look, Unikitty, uh, fill up our bins with it. Not sure who that is, what that is. 
headband, we can wash that. Okay, throw this one back in. For a well, they're just stress stress blocks. Oh, that's cute. You put your blocks on there. That's really cute. Take that. Ping pong ball. Really cute little bottle. Yeah, this really looks like uh, illegal dumping to me. There's like a like a Fitbit. The Jungle Book. Or wait, is this, wait a minute. Is this a Disney World band, I wonder? Magic band? I bet it is. Well, maybe not, because it's like a clock on, I don't know. Maybe just a watch, I don't know. I've never been to Disney World, so I'm not terribly familiar with magic bands. dig into the rest of this without making a total mess. Some Lego books. We totally take these. Love these. You can resell them or you can just use them to build stuff. Oh, I'm so glad we found this one because we bought a police car, Lego police car at uh, the resell Lego store, but then we took it apart and we didn't have instructions on how to put it back together. Now we do. See, if we're just patient enough, the bins provide almost everything we need. How about that? Love it. It's kind of creepy. I like that. Student dictionary. Little bowling game. Hmm. Empty Lego box. A blanket. We find so many blankets in the bin. In the bins, like lap blankets galore. Is that like a, is that a Shopkins? I don't know. And sit down. Wind is starting to blow some of the garbage around. Gotta be careful. Broken car. Some dead lights. Maybe, I can't tell if they're dead or, oh, nope, they're not. That's awesome. It even has the batteries and everything. We'll take those. Fairy lights. Something blow up. We'll try it out. There's another of those, but not a bobblehead. Little Captain America shield. Broken car. Uh, the rest of this is like the leftovers from their Easter baskets. All right, let's get cleaned up. So I was wrong. It's like jammies. It's not a blanket. Cool. We'll check it out. <sighs> See if it'll fit one of us. Okay. Now, take everything. There have been some early morning walkers out using this uh, track out here. So I've had a few looky loos, but no one has bothered me yet, which is nice. There's a bunch of folders back there. We'll go through a couple of these bags. I have several more schools that I want to check. And we are starting to run low on space in the van. So we're not going to be able to go through everything because we want to hit all the schools at least a little bit, you know. But we'll do what we can. I don't know. 
I just have a, a feeling and I listen to my feelings. Um, like dumpster divers intuition. Uh, I just feel like maybe we should leave. If you ever get that feeling when you're out dumpster diving, listen to it. Especially if you're on your own, a woman or a man, either way, uh, listen to that kind of intuition. And especially where the van is so far away, we're going to go and put all our stuff away, our tools, and then go back for the box, and then we're going to call it good. Just, I got to listen to my feelings. So, is it likely that anything bad would happen if I didn't listen to those gut feelings? You know, probably not. I'm in a safe area. I'm really fortunate to be in a, a pretty, pretty safe area, but there's weirdos everywhere. And at kind of odd hours, which like when I go diving, you know, uh, when there's not people out and about, I mean, yeah, you take your chances, especially if you go alone and as a woman. So I listen, I listen to those instincts. Let's go on to the next one. There are plenty more waiting for us. This is a high school. I have found power tools here that the school got rid of. I have found uh, plants, like I was talking about at another one. A uh, whole bunch of plant starts. Ooh, some ukuleles. <laughs> they, looks like they definitely need some, some love and some work, but we're totally grabbing those. How cool is that? How cool are those? They're obviously school ones. Yeah, uh, for in the band or I don't know if that'd be orchestra, whatever it is anyway. Yeah, super cool. Definitely need work, but I don't know if we'll have them repaired and keep them for ourselves or sell them. We could even craft them. Like these would even be really fun decorations, especially there by the piano. I don't know, we'll think about it, but super cool. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see if these ones have any. And uh, that's all lunch garbage. So let's keep going. <laughs>